साई राम वेलकम टू श्री सत्य साई लोक सेवा गुरुकुलम ऑनलाइन सर्विसेज लेट्स लर्न इंग्लिश सीरीज विद मिसेस कल्पना हेब्लेकर सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वर्ब फॉर्म्स ओके दिस इज पार्ट वन ऑफ द सीरीज सो डिफरेंट वर्ब फॉर्म्स वर्ब्स आर ट्रांसफॉर्म इंटू डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स एज पर द वेरियस टेंसेस ऑफ द सेंटेंस एंड एज पर द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस verbs can be modified into different forms by adding endings such as s ed and ing to the base form okay let me read again by now you must be knowing what are tenses yes what we are talking about so it is easier to understand verbs are transformed into different forms as per the various tenses of the sentence and as per the subject of the sentence verbs can be modified into different forms by adding endings such as s ed and ing to the base form okay base form is otherwise known as root form root verb verbs generally have five forms namely base form simple past tense past participle present participle simple present third person singular okay now let us see base form is otherwise known as root form or root verb verbs generally have five forms namely base form simple past tense past participle present participle present tense simple present that is third person singular simple present third person singular okay now see this base form simple past past participle present participle simple present that is third person singular okay now let us see the base form of the verb will be talk simple past will be talked we are adding ed we have already learned that past participle will also add ed present participle will be having ing to the base form and simple present tense third person singular will have s in the base form okay added to the base form i hope this is clear i'll explain again base form talk simple past will be talk plus ed okay past participle will be talk plus ed that is base form plus ed present participle will be base form plus ing so here it will be talk plus ing and simple present third person singular will have s to the base form next word is go g o go simple past will be went past participle will be gone present participle will be going and simple present third person singular will be goes g o e s so now this is very important it is not like the previous one talk talked talked talking talks not like that complete change see go in the base form will be go simple past will be went w e n t went past participle will be gone g o n e gone present participle will be going okay g o i n g simple present third person singular will be goes g o e s okay now examples of the root verb which are the same as infinitive but without to okay let us see the infinitive form and root verb form okay to dive d i v e dive will be only root form of the verb will be dive so it will not be to dive okay to dive is infinitive form you have to be very careful of this to wonder only wonder is the root verb form of the verb to jump jump is the root form of the verb okay so now let us see some examples of verb in different forms 
I go to office daily, the base form of the verb, okay. I walked 6 kilometers yesterday. So, it is simple past, okay, walked, W-A-L-K-E-D is that. She is doing her maths homework, present participle, okay. She cooks North Indian dishes well, simple present third person singular, okay. She cooks North Indian dishes well, simple present third person singular. You dance on the floor, it is a base form, you dance on the floor, base form, okay. Some more examples, the choir sings well, simple present third person singular. We have read the newspaper a while ago, past participle, okay, read. They helped in cooking, simple past. We went to the zoo on Saturday, simple past, okay. You are going to the market in the evening, present participle, okay, very good. So, now let us see the thought for the day for loud reading and handwriting practice. So, sometimes whenever these quotations are given, we do not know who has said it or you know, uh, we do not know uh, who has written them also. So, sometimes it comes you know and a good thought is there, we will put it over here. So, do not bother so much that who has written or anything, just you can write it and uh, give it to your friends also and share it among your siblings. Life is a fingerprint that cannot be duplicated. So, make the best impression with it. Live it, love it and do not waste a single moment in your life because time has no holiday, dreams have no expiry dates and life has no pause button. Yes, do you agree with that? Yes, I will read again. It is beautiful, right? Life is a fingerprint that cannot be duplicated, okay. So, make the best impression with it, live it, love it and do not waste a single moment in your life because time has no holiday, dreams have no expiry dates and life has no pause button. So, thank you for visiting Sri Satya Sai Lok Seva Gurukulam online classes, Let's Learn English series. I pray to God to give you lot of happiness, peace and grace in all your future endeavors. Thank you. Sai Ram.